Happy New Year and welcome to the January update. As you can see, I've got Alan Turing joining me. I've been advised by a videographer friend that I shouldn't have faces in the background, so let me know if you think it's distracting in the comments. I've also upgraded my video gear and so I'm expecting the quality to look a bit better. I'm certainly more happy with it than the webcam before. If you're interested in knowing about the video setup, then let me know. I could do a little video about how I've got everything set up here. So getting on to the ASIC news, the first thing is MPW4 was submitted at the end of December. So uh, I've got a blog post about that. We've got some cool designs in, including some skull fets, uh, quite a lot of different designs, different sizes. I was pretty pleased we got so much in at the last minute. The other big news is we've got silicon back from MBW1. So we've got both bumped chips, wafer level chip scale packages, and we've also got bare dies, which we're not expecting for future runs, but it will help us with some debugging. Sylvain Minot, also known as TNT, has made quite a bit of progress in actually getting some life out of the MPW1 chips due to some very clever work. So he's documenting that and he's going to be planning to publish it over the weekend. So subscribe to his YouTube channel if you want to find out more about that. Obviously, I'll be posting any updates as I try to bring up my own designs. The MPW5 tape out has been announced. That's at the end of March, 21st of March. So now's a good time to start getting your designs in order and get ready for that submission. If you're into hardware security, then Hardware.io has just put out their call for papers. So you can check out if you want to submit to that and check out their webinars and their trainings. eFabulous got funded, which is great news, and they are hiring. So if you're interested in a job in this space, then get in contact with Jeff at eFabulous. And it's super exciting to see funding happening in this space and I expect to see lots more of that kind of thing happening in 2022. I just finished wrapping up uh, my latest in-depth video, this time looking at how flip-flop works. I'm really pleased with how it came out. So if you want to check out in detail how the Sky 130 flip-flops work and where setup and hold time come from, then definitely check that out. And the last thing is I'm going to be dropping some more money off vouchers for the course in the next mailing list. So if you're not subscribed and you want to get a voucher, then subscribe to the mailing list. Okay, that's all for January's update and I'll see you around for the next one.